I, I spend a little bit of time in Christchurch um, at the start of the week generally, and then I spend the remainder of the week in Dunedin and um, have weekends turn about. So uh, it's um, it's a, a busy lifestyle, um, but it's good and it's been exciting. I mean, uh, setting up the office down there um, and, and having a major part in, in that, and um, I guess being away a little bit from the the actual the the doing side of landscape architecture and, and having some understanding around um, what it takes to set up an office and all of the sorts of things that you need to do has been something that's been quite different um, and a challenge but something that's been really really good to see sort of develop and, and get done and, and have people employed and starting to do work. With working down there I'm actually originally from down that way so it's been great for me because I've got to go back and, and um, hang out in a whole lot of places that I used to hang out when I was much younger um, and it's it's also been I think good for a perspective um, from the profession's perspective because there's we're very few operators down there so in terms of um, some of the work that's going on in, in Dunedin and there is a lot at the moment um, having a, a, um, a presence there is, is a good thing for the city. Uh, personally in terms of design and um, and design projects as such. I'm, um, I'm interested, I'm really interested in place and the sorts of things that have gone on there previously um, and using that as a reference into design. Um, and that can manifest in a few ways and there's obviously um, mana whenua inputs, but also I'm quite interested in some of, um, I guess, what you describe as I don't know, colonial New Zealand or um, um, Pākehā settlement of New Zealand, the sorts of things that have happened in places to, to sort of turn them into the way that they are today and the melding of those two things is really interesting, starting to get some really, really interesting design outcomes from um, um, a really universal approach through um, um, mana whenua and talking and those things and understanding the context of places. Um, so I really like um, working through and bringing some of those aspects into, into projects. Um, we have done a little bit of that work out at the airport in terms of bringing some of those through. It's a wee bit of a challenging environment um, and in terms of that. It's more notable in some of the work that we're doing in Dunedin, particularly around some of the um, work that we've been doing recently down there at the Polytech, but also in the university where we've got some quite interesting things to play with in terms of former shorelines and um, where land has been reclaimed and some of the historic use of land, which is pretty cool in terms of being able to express that in a um, a contemporary way. In 10 years time, um, I'd like to be at um, Boffin School and um, still leading a, um, a really successful um, design team in the South Island. Um, we've got a, a, an interesting group where we have our Dunedin and Queenstown and Christchurch offices which operate quite closely um, with our landscape architects and urban designers and landscape planners but also working in with our national team. Um, and I guess one of our really big goals in the next few years is to continue to deliver some really quality and cool uh, public realm and having some built projects. It's, uh, it's a challenge and um, um, it's one that we're really, really keen to deliver on. Um, so there's a few things that we're trying to, to line up um, in Christchurch, Queenstown and, um, and Dunedin that will be relatively notable. So um, I'm looking forward to those things, yeah.